Hi all, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. I know, I have a full face of makeup on already. That's different and new. Um, today I'm going to, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just trying something new here. Um, today I'm going to do a full face of CoverGirl. Um, so I have some pieces from CoverGirl that I already had. I had to go pick up just a few more, not a lot, just a few more. Um, I went and got that new CoverGirl uh, True Undercover Conceal, True Blend Undercover Concealer <laughs> um, to try. Um, and then I also got a new palette. I got the Sunsets palette, which is beautiful. Which is, had beautiful colors and really spoke to me. Um, and I also got myself a new Expeditionist Mascara. <laughs> Because I kept, I, I thought I bought it, I didn't have it, I bought it again, I gave it away, yeah. Um, so now I have it. Uh, yeah, what's there? Oh, and I bought a new lipstick as well that we're going to try. Yeah, so we're just going to do a whole new, a whole face of CoverGirl makeup. And I actually do really well, so, spoiler alert. Um, yeah, so if you are interested in this look and how I got it using all CoverGirl products, just keep watching. Okay, so I went ahead and set my eyes with my, I went ahead and set my eyes with the concealer, and then I went into this color here in my um, Sunsets, CoverGirl Sunsets palette that we're going to use today, and it's going to, this color here, and I went ahead and then set it, set everything with it. So I'm realizing looking at this, there's not really a good, like, like mid-tone or on the lighter side transition color. So I'm going to go into my CoverGirl Ascension palette. This is another CoverGirl palette that I have. I'm not really a big fan of this, but we're going to use it anyway. And we're going to go into Curtsy, which is this color here. And we're going to use that as our transition color. Our transition color. <laughs> so that we can go ahead and get that transition going. It's just going to be a slightly darker than my skin tone color kind of brown on the brown side so that I can get it um you know get the colors to blend nicely let me zoom you in a little bit actually that way you can see better what I'm doing yeah I like that curtsy color as a transition color the mattes in this trend and this curtsy I'm sorry this ascension palette aren't that bad but as a whole the palette's not great but it's okay it's all right I'll link where I used this palette in a tutorial. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go into this Sunsets palette. Can I get, yeah, Sunsets palette. And we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take the orangey color here at the other end, and we're gonna put that more precisely into the crease. And I have these new brushes from Sigma. They're their new um, detail brushes. It This is the, E27, which is like the detailer brush of the E25. And then this is the E33, which is supposed to be the detailer brush of, um, I'm not really sure what their version is, but it's the, the equivalent of the MAC one here, the MAC 224. So this is supposed to be kind of like the detailer of this, only this is the MAC version again. And then this is the detailer version of... Uh, they're 225 so just kind of give you an idea um, so I'm gonna actually take this one here this e33 and I'm gonna take that I'm gonna take that more orangey color and we're gonna use that more directly in the crease let's see how this works shall we Oh yeah, that, that's very nice. It's very small, but soft. Okay, I like that. I like the color and I like the brush. Right. Then I'm going to go in with that, that E27. And then I'm going to take the... Mm, I'm going to take more of this rust shade here. And I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate that. I must. I should have probably switched this around, but that's okay. We're gonna use these brushes in this order anyway. And I'm gonna concentrate that more on the outer, on the outer B. Stamp it where we want it, 
and then kind of blend it out a little bit. Not kind of blend it out, and then blend it out a little bit. I like this Sunset palette. Sunset's palette. It's actually really, really pigmented and really nice. I don't need to work a lot to build up the color. I'm bringing it a little into the crease too, as you can see. But look at that. That pigment payoff is awesome for just dipping the brush in once. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brush that I used for... Actually, you know what? No, let's try a different brush. I'm going to take this um, Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. And that's usually what I use to do the outer corner work. But I'm going to take this and very, 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 very lightly, I'm going to take this deeper purple and kind of go over right over the edges of it. Like I'm very, very, very lightly tapping that in. I don't want it to be like intense color. I just want it to kind of fade the purple right into that transition color and the crease color. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That purple just kind of haloed the outside. That's what I was looking for. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go in with this brush and that first color, that very, very first color we used, this one, and kind of clean up the brow bone area and make sure that everything is blended seamlessly. That is a gorgeous, that's gorgeous so far. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this color here right next to that like rusty color that we used and I'm going to put that on the lid. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my finger, just get on my finger and tap it on. That might have been a little dark and that was a lot of fallout. Haha. <laughs> okay. That was a little darker than I expected. That's okay. That's okay. And look at all that fallout from putting it on my finger and not tapping off of a brush. This is why we do our eyes before our face, folks. At least for me. There are no rules, but for me, that's why I do my eyes before my face. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this CoverGirl Expeditionist um, eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow, in number four. I don't know what it was called. I'm so sorry. I'll have to see if I can find what the actual name is and post it for you. And I'm just going to take the wand and, again, just take a little bit on my finger. A little bit. That was too much. A little bit on my finger and tab it right in the middle. I feel like this side has more and is more shiny than this side. In fact, we're going to put just a tad bit more. It's funny because I was just watching a video from uh, from Emily Noel. who was like, don't pass over more than twice on your glitter eyeshadow. And I'm like, sorry, Emily. It's not as opaque as this side, so I got to do it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and kind of... Um, I liked it before the, the glitter. That sucks. I'm going to go ahead and sharpen up this outer edge a little bit. And I'm just taking a little bit more of that color that we put first on our lid on the inner corner to blend the edges of the glitter a little bit more. Okay, once we go back to, go back to it, it should be okay. We're okay. We're okay. I'm actually going to go back in a little bit with the orangey color that we used in the crease. And kind of sharpen up the crease a little bit. Which is pretty much what these precision, precision brushes are for. Okay, let me clean up my face. Zoom me out a little bit and we'll do the face. And we'll come back to the eyes at the end to finish them up. Okay, so for now for base products from CoverGirl. I do have the CoverGirl True Blend Base Business Skin Primer, the Illuminating. And the illuminating one because I have dry skin so I was like okay it's more it's more hydrating it's more illuminating it's more like my Charlotte Tilbury you know it's not but uh it does give a little bit of a it does give a little bit of a uh, life back to the skin it doesn't really pour uh like fill the pores or anything like that it is moisturizing and it does like I said it gives a little bit of glow and life to the skin and lift to the skin and who doesn't want that, right? Who doesn't want that in their face? 
I'm still having issues. I thought that stopping using that concealer would help, but I'm still having issues right here and under my eyes, as you probably could tell, but it's okay. I'm going to see if I can find an exfoliator, um, like a good exfoliator, and see if I can get that to start healing, because it's just, it's flaky skin, basically, right now. It's not really as, like, enraged and as red as it has been, though I do have a nice pimple right here. That's fun. Um, okay, so then I also have the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation Broad Spectrum F. SPF, excuse me, and I have the in Classic Ivory. I think they redid the packaging on this. Don't quote me, um, but I got this one on clearance. They were like clearing scene out, clearing scene out a bunch of CoverGirl stuff, and I think that they might have um, been redoing it. Um, but this is the old Vitalist Healthy Elixir. This is the one I have, and then I also have like a BB cream. But I'm gonna use this one today. It's in Classic Ivory again. So just gonna dot that all over my face because that's what I do with my foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sing song it too, because why not? And I'm I don't know that I'm going anywhere today, so I don't need a lot of coverage. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge um, to blend that in. If you guys haven't picked up this Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, I highly recommend it. I think I've told you before, you can find it at like TJ Maxx on a discount. Not that it's like all that expensive. I think it's like six to eight dollars depending on where you buy it. Or you can get like a two pack. And I, I just, I highly recommend this sponge. You do not need the Beauty Blender in any way, shape, or form. I like the Beauty Blender. It's, it's a nice sponge. I really enjoy the Beauty Blender. It is completely unnecessary with things like this or the Revlon one. The Revlon one's really good too. I'm going to put on just another thin layer. The thing about a, um, a sponge of any kind is that it's going to give you much more, it's going to give you lighter coverage than with a, with a brush. So, you know, I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I don't need a lot of coverage. And then I put on two layers of foundation. I probably should have just used a brush. Huh. <laughs> oh, Kristen. Not the best coverage, but again, always get lighter coverage with the sponge. Okay, so next we're moving on to concealer. So this concealer is brand new, and people are like raving about it. It's the CoverGirl True Bend Undercover Concealer, and it's the one with the black and white striped top. It's huge, and it has the big doe foot applicator. And again, I got mine in Classic Ivory. I probably should have went with... Um, I think it's natural ivory, but we're we're gonna just test it out because this is the one I grabbed. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna very lightly dot this, and I'm gonna use my concealer brush today for this. It's pretty dirty. I gotta I gotta wash it, but that's okay. That's okay. And we're gonna go ahead and just kind of blend that in. Um, my under eyes are pretty dry and scaly still from that rash that I had, but it's not blending in very good. And that might just be because my eyes are not in the best shape right now. Take my beauty blender and kind of, or my, my real technique sponge and kind of help press that in a little bit more. It looks nice once it's blended in. It just took a little bit of effort to get it blend like right here. Okay. All right. So far, I kind of like it. Hmm. Okay. I like it so far. We'll see how it wears. See if it creases or anything on me. Um. Speaking of creasing, I am going to go ahead and take my CoverGirl, obviously, i got to stop saying CoverGirl, uh, the True Blend Translucent Powder, and I'm going to set my under eyes with this. Okay, well, let's finish up the eyes before we move on to the, um, the rest of the face. I'm going to go back in to the Sunsets palette, and I'm going to take this orange again. And also this E33. 
very, very lightly going to run that underneath my lower lash line. Then on another pencil brush, I'm going to go ahead and take that, that rust color that we had, and I'm going to put that also on the lower lash line, keeping it more toward that outer corner, connecting it to what we did in the outer corner. Halfway with that, actually. That's okay. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take... Sorry if I just blinded you. Um, <laughs> sorry if I just totally blinded you. You know. I'm going to take a detailer brush, a smaller detailer brush from Real Techniques, and I'm going to go in with this champagne type color right here. I don't know if really champagne. It's more... It's more of the champagne type than one next to it, which is more gold. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use that as my inner corner highlight. I might have to use my highlight highlight for my face on there, but we'll see. Oh no, that's pretty. Actually, that's pretty. Okay. Good girl. Good job, cover girl, having a really good uh, highlighter in here. Probably the gold one's pretty too. Ooh, pretty. Okay. That pretty much does it for the eyes other than, um, other than I do want to use, actually no, I probably don't. I'm not really a big fan of eyeliner right now. Okay, before we actually move on to the face, I am going to take my CoverGirl, I keep saying that, my my pencil in Honey Brown, it's the Ultra Fine Brown Pencil. Ooh, my brows. I'm telling you, they sneak up on you. They're like, oh, we're fine, we're fine. You can go a couple more days, a couple more weeks, and then it's like, boom. Girl, you need to do your eyebrows. It's like a freaking avocado. Not ripe, not ripe, not ripe, not ripe. Girl, you gotta throw me away now. That's right, I just compared my eyebrows to an avocado. That's fun things you get here on my channel. Okay, so for my face, I do have a face palette. Um, it is the 510 True Blend Serving, Serving Sculpt Palette, okay. In 510, is what it says. Uh, serving Sculpt Palette, oh, Rose Nights. I knew it had a name. And it does have a bronzer, a highlighter, and a blush. Not a big fan of the, uh, the highlighter in this one. I do have a highlighting powder, a highlighting palette, hmm, and Super Stunner. And this one is in called It's Lit. And these are the, these are the, I love these highlighters. These are like, really good highlighters. If you can find this, again, it's 500 and it's lit. These are great. But I am going to take the bronzer and the blush from Rose Nights, and we're going to go ahead and use those. So I'm going to take my dual fiber, my little dual fiber brush that I always take into the bronzer. I'm going to take it in lightly. This is my Real Techniques blush brush. I think it's a blush, but yeah. This is a very strong makeup for just going to work at home. I work at home. <laughs> okay. Then again, I'm not going to use the highlighter in here. I like to take the two highlighters at the very end here and mix those. And use that as my highlight. It's like my favorite, one of my favorite highlights, period, just ever. I love these. This, that Rose Night palette with the bronzer and the blush, as you can see, is very pretty. It really is, but if you're going to pick up one, I'd say get the highlighter palette. I'm going to take my sponge and just kind of go over everything. Well, not everything, but the brush and the bronzer just to make sure it all's very, very, you know, blended into the skin nicely. So then I'm going to do eyelashes. So I'm just going to get really quickly curl my eyelashes. I'm the new-ish CoverGirl Expeditionist mascara. I bought this. I thought I bought this and then I couldn't find it so I bought it again. I ended up giving it in a giveaway <laughs> so I never used it so then I bought it again for this video and I was like we're going to try it because everybody loves it. I'm going to go crazy today because uh 
again, I'm doing nothing but going to work. And I have cre I have like really bold up my makeup on. I'm gonna put two coats of mascara on. I know. Who am I? Who am I? I like that. That's nice. Okay. Now I have two lip products here. One is the uh, CoverGirl Melting Pot Metallic in oh Pristine Queen. And the other is a CoverGirl lipstick in a Demi Matte in Streaker. I think either would really work for this, but I think because let me let me show you. Oh, that's that's a metallic lipstick. That's Pristine Queen, the metallic. That is that's metallic. That's metallic. Um I think I'm gonna use this one here, this demi matte and streaker. Because I already have a really bold eye look going on. I don't need like metallic lips to go with it, so. I've never used a CoverGirl bullet lipstick. Or one of those either. Huh? This is a very nice nude. Very nice pinky nude. And again, because my eyes are so bold, it goes nicely. So there we go. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. So this is my full like <laughs> So this is my full look using just cover girl. Um yeah, I pretty much used just cover girl, didn't I? I don't think that I used any other like substitute products. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> I am going to use actually one substitute product. I am going to use the, uh, because as far as I know, no, I think they do have a spray, but I've never picked it up. I apologize. I am going to use the MAC uh, Fix Plus to set everything down and apparently eat it as I talk. Um, but other than that, yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. I used all CoverGirl. I like the look. I like the look a lot. The eyeshadow was beautiful. Uh, the foundation, I like this foundation so far, it's not sitting oddly on my skin at all. My under eyes look real good. Uh, yeah, they might have been really right about that, <laughs> about the concealer. I'm going to have to keep trying this because I really like the way my under eyes are looking right now. Um, the lipstick feels really nice. I just put it on, but it feels really nice and soft. Like, not soft, um, comfortable is the word I'm looking for. I always love that highlighter, and the, like I said, the bronzer and blush are bronzer and blush. They're, there's nothing, it doesn't go on streaky, it doesn't go on muddy. I like that. I like that particular one. It's very, very nice. Uh, I, I love the eyebrow pencil. I always have, have for a couple months now. All in all, I'm impressed, cover girl. I'm impressed. It just goes to show that you don't have to break the bank and go to Sephora to have a beautiful easy breezy look, right? <laughs> I don't know how easy breezy was, but you know. I went a little overboard with the eyes, but it was so easy. Like this palette was amazing. The colors are super pigmented. They blended like dream. I, I was really, really, really impressed by these eyeshadows and I will definitely be doing another look with this. Overall, I love it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified every time I upload. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.